Fireworks sales began today in the Tri-Cities, and stands have been getting ready for this big day for quite some time now. Local 4's Madison Smith gives us a look inside the process. Fireworks stands around the Tri-Cities have been preparing not just all week, but all year to get ready for the first day of sales. Blake Olson has worked for Kermit's Fireworks Stand in Grand Island for around 13 years, and he says they started ordering product back in January and February. Kermit's is a family-run fireworks stand, and Olson says that's the best part. My favorite part's just got to be hanging out with family. I mean, it's a pretty fun time. It's a good operation. Starts way before the 4th, but it's a good time. One stand in Hastings is raising money for Hastings College athletic teams. We have the women's soccer and men's soccer team come out and help um, with the fireworks, and then all proceeds will go to the programs for, like, new uniforms and gear and stuff we use for practice and games. With the fun of the fireworks comes the potential for danger, and Olson says to just be responsible. You know, treat them like what they are. They are explosives, they're fireworks, and I mean, they're dangerous, but if you use them properly, they're awesome. Reporting in the Tri-Cities, Madison Smith, Local 4 News.